Hey there, everybody. We start with a different kind of car thief. Teens accused of stealing right from a dealership. Nicole Grigg is live to explain why police opened fire. Jack, police tell me that they opened fire because they had a rifle pointed at them. It actually turns out it was this pump-style action BB gun. They say it looks so real to them. Right now, they don't know if they hit anyone. Business is back as usual at Reichard Buick, but overnight the car dealership turned into a crime scene after police say they opened fire on two suspects trying to steal a car inside after the action style BB gun was pointed at them. I looked out my window, seen a bunch of police cars out there. I just saw somebody breaking in the cars again. Neighbors tell us the crime scene tape was up for hours, a bigger scene than what they're used to. We don't have a lot of trouble. Uh, on up the street, you get a little bit more trouble. Down here, it's not so bad. In a press conference today, Chief Richard Beal says police responded from their headquarters basically across the street to two teens inside one of the cars in the showroom. When the suspects took off out the back, one came face to face with Officer Steve McCall. He says the teen pointed the BB gun at him, so he fired one shot. There's very little a way for an officer to determine what is a firearm uh, versus what is a BB pellet or indoor toy gun. Right now it appears the shot fired by the 14-year veteran didn't hit anyone. Both suspects took off in different directions. And this once again underscores uh, how uh, having one of these um, items in someone's possession appointing a police officer can result in a lethal, potentially lethal outcome. Beal says he's glad this didn't turn deadly for anyone and that it's an important reminder for parents to talk with their kids. Neighbors also glad this didn't have a different ending. We got good police officers around here. They, they look out for us pretty good around here. Police say the dealership doesn't have any video inside that showroom. Right now, they're working on limited descriptions on those suspects. If you have any information, though, you can call police anonymously at 222-STOP. Reporting live downtown, Nicole Gregg, ABC 22 News.